out and about today. I need to get these brows seen about. It is such a beautiful day today, guys. So I decided to go and have a little bit of me time while I'm out taking care of business, running some errands. I'm getting another henna tattoo on my hands y'all remember i got one when we was on a trip to atlanta i really did like it so i you know i am considering it have you guys had a, a tattoo a henna tattoo before if so let me know in the comments
the young man who normally threads my brows doesn't work here anymore. He, she says it's gone to Memphis. He left me. <laughs> but let me just say, I think she did a, I think she did a really good job. So, let's see. What y'all think? Let me just say, they were a little bit more... They were a lot more dramatic than what they are now. I think I'm just too old for that. So, I was like, look, you got to lighten these mugs up. Okay? Don't have me coming out of here looking like Batman and Robin. So I had her lighten them up a little bit, but they still look super dark. <laughs> Maybe it'll look better once I make up my whole entire face. Maybe it'll look better. What y'all think? So I have come to the realization, <laughs> finally, after so much going on with my phone. Listen, it is time for me to get a new phone. So I'm just going to go ahead and get a new phone. And I'm going to really make sure that the most important thing is, is that I get more storage because listen 128 gig gigabytes is, is i just uh-uh it's not working for me i've got to get more so yeah and i was looking at these folding phones and these flip phones i just i can't do that like i don't know i i just i would be i don't i know i can have a phone like this but it's cute it's cute though just give me a phone like I just want a regular phone. I don't need a whole bunch of hoops and hollers and bells and whistles. I just want storage. I am back at the office, guys, after a long morning and mid-morning and uh, early afternoon. I'm just running around, taking care of some errands. And as you guys know, I took you along with me when I went and got my brows threaded and filled in. And at first, I was feeling a little bit like, uh they are too dark i did have her take some of them you know just to lighten it up a little bit and i actually i like them it, it took me a minute to you know get used to seeing them like this but i actually do like it and so probably one of my next steps is going to be okay i had said a while back like maybe six or seven months ago that i wasn't going to dye these grays again i'm just gonna try to embrace them and just go with the salt and pepper this time i, I can't y'all i think i'm gonna dye my hair so that's another thing that's coming up that i'm gonna do also what i'm gonna do right now i didn't think i was gonna have to do this this soon but sometimes things just come up and so one thing that i do regularly is i do inspect my beads and i see that one of them has has gotten compromised i'm gonna do a close-up so you guys can see it and so y'all remember it was just been a few months since i've tied this one on and um i can tell that one of the strings have popped inside of this waist bead and so you know i'm going to go ahead i'm going to cut this off and I don't know if I'm going to retie this back on right now because I kind of thought about it and I kind of just feel like maybe it's time for this one to come out. Um, you know, I think it's just, you know, the intention I have for this one is serves its purpose. That's the way I'm looking at it for now. So I'm going to cut this off. Y'all see that string? I'm going to, it's compromised. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it off now rather than wait until, you know, the other you know strings get compromised i'm going to go ahead and cut it off at the first sign of my compromise and i'm going to put it in my waist bead bucket and who knows i may tie it on restring it and tie it on at a later date but right now i'm going to cut it off i'm glad you guys are here with me because this is just part of um 
to me is part of waist bead life and you know being a, a waist bead person i wear them 24 7 it's not a day i don't have waist beads on come back for part two where i will uh, share with you um, me cutting off that waist bead tying on another one and we're just gonna discuss some things about you know about doing that process and waist bead just being a waist bead wearer um and waist bead life so come back for part two and um i will see you on the next video